Yo, what's up, DC? x here, and today I am bringing you a electric prick single target loadout. And without further ado, let's hop right into this. So, first things first, gear and mods. Like I said, we're prick, and y'all should know this shit by now. If you're a prick, the weapon you're going to use for single target is dual wield. Dual wield and brawling. Alright, if you're a prick, you're going to use dual wield and brawling as your two weapons. Okay? Now, this is single target, so we're using dual wield. This is the head mod. Get critical wired. Get that. Neck mod. Back mod doesn't matter. Chest mod. Feet. You want tumble and master. Get hands. And for your face mod, put precision in that. Make sure your affinity mods is 1% prick and this B mod is precision tool. These are the artifacts we are using. Transformation card, Grimorium Verum, and the strategist card. Like I said, we're prick, so make sure your body augments and head augments are prick. Okay. Now, time to go into the allies. I have to actually start talking about allies more, because they do shit. So, these are the allies you're going to use. You're going to use House of Legends bot. Alright, this is the strongest single target ally. House of Legends bot. Okay. And for our support allies, we're going to be using Nubia. Ability 2. Upon defeating an enemy, increase your might and prick. It's really might and prick. If you go into it, it's going to say might and prick. Alright. So, upon uh, successfully killing the enemy, blah, 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 blah. You gain a percentage of might and precision for a certain amount of time, you and your teammates. So you're buffing yourself plus your whole group. You're going to get 2% might and 4% prec for 10 seconds on a 20 second cooldown. Okay. And that's every time you defeat an enemy. So it'll pop up here and there. And you're always defeating enemies. It's ads everywhere. So it's not like that buff is going to go away. You know what I'm saying? And for our second support ally, we are using the Batman who lasts, and we are using uh, Luck of the Draw. Now, this thing is stupid OP. Okay? Now, these are the cards that you can get out of this support. Okay? We are using support 2. Alright? No, we are using support 1. My bad, my bad. Support 1. The Luck of Draw. So... When you're in combat, you'll get random cards that pop up above your head. You can get the Gaia card, increases max health. I think I said that right. I hope so. Enigma card, increases uh, in combat power regeneration. Frigger, that increases your critical chance. And Batman increases your might, dominance, restro, vit, and prick. A card is drawn every 30 seconds. And it lasts for several seconds. And we have this thing maxed all the way. Okay? This is going to come clutch in all fights, bro. All fights. <coughs> okay, now time to go into the skill point spec. I know it's a lot. DC has added so much shit in here. It's ridiculous. But time to go into the skill point spec. Like I said, we're using dual wield. Okay? So make sure you get dual wield mastery and bow mastery, which is down here. Then you want to go into your dual wield and get flurry shot mastery. Now, like I said, this is the single target loadout, but but I highly, highly advise all of you to get brawling as well. Go down to brawling, get brawling mastery and martial arts mastery. Now, if you don't have that much skill points, by all means, just get the dual wield mastery and the bow mastery. But if you do got, you know, enough skill points or a decent amount, you can get brawling too. Because you're going to want to switch to AoE damage, you know, in certain raids where like ads spawn and stuff like that. That's what brawling is for. So I'll put it in uh, one army so that way I can just switch in and out my inventory to do single target and AoE damage. <coughs> So now, once you get your weapon mastery, you want to come down to super speed, okay? You want to get 
Phase Dodge, and Whirling Dervish. Now, go to Iconic Powers. You're going to want to get Robot Sidekick. Now, go down to your stat points. Get Weapons Expert. Get Critical Attack Chance and Damage up all the way. And then put the rest of your skill points into Precision. If you have any left over, put them into Might and Power. Time to go into the loadout, the juicy stuff. Okay, this is what we're using. We're using Wired, Phase Dodge, Iconic Drain, Circuit Breaker, Robot Sidekick, and Whirling Dervish. Now, I also forgot to mention, this is also a part of the loadout. A Proto Mainframe Bot. Now, you can use a Repair Bot or a Proto Mainframe Bot or anything that you could just fucking pop and jump cancel out of. Put that here okay but we're using the proto mainframe <coughs> shit my bad i probably coughed all in y'all face all right now before i explain the rotation i'ma just show you the rotation okay now let me see what type of buff i have active right now i got a flex solder active uh flex solders boost your might up i mean not your might your prick <laughs> It boosts your prec up to 1835, okay? And right now I am 73k. So you could just subtract that 1835 from 73k. But either way it goes, this shit is still hitting hard as fuck regardless. I just got over raid, my bad. But okay, this is the rotation. So. Oh my god, the House of Legends is so laggy. I gotta stop coming here, bro. Like, for real. Do you see those numbers right now, bro? Oh my god, it's gonna make everybody go electric prick. <laughs> hey, by all means, go ahead. Let's make your raids go by way faster if everybody doing crazy, insane damage, you know? And yeah, this is the whole loadout, bro. That's all you're doing. That's literally all you're doing for this whole entire loadout. That's it. And yes, you will still hit the same numbers even without the flex order. Don't don't even play. I wouldn't even show you this. And yeah, these are the numbers we're hitting. Okay, now time to explain the rotation. And by the way, let me just please note that Circuit Breaker is a 15 second cooldown supercharge. Now, if you're in a raid with two EOG healers spamming EOGs back to back, imagine popping this every 15 seconds with the loadout you are using. You will fucking destroy, obliterate your target. Just, you will become... I'm raising demons right now. Y'all are going to be a bunch of demons. Oh my god. This is going to be terrible. Everybody about to be electric prick. Ain't going to be no more trolls. It's already no tanks. Well shit. Time to go into the rotation. I'll talk too much. 
Okay, so this is what we're doing. So we're going to flourish shot into wired and face dodge like this. Boom. Now from here, you want to flourish shot into iconic drain, spam triangle, flourish shot into whirling dervish, flourish shot twice into iconic drain, spam triangle, flourish shot back into whirling dervish, flourish shot twice into your consumable, jump cancel, flourish shot into whirling dervish, flourish shot twice, back down the whole rotation. That is the whole rotation now. If I went too fast, you can rewind it, but I'm going to say it one more again. All right, one more again. So, flurry shot, face dodge, boom, flurry shot, iconic drain, flurry shot, whirling dervish, flurry shot twice, iconic drain, boom, flurry shot, whirling dervish, flurry shot twice, consumable, jump cancel, flurry shot, whirling dervish. Flurry shot twice, back down the whole rotation. Flurry shot, face dodge, flurry shot into iconic drain. Flurry shot, whirling dervish, flurry shot twice, boom. Back in the iconic drain. Flurry shot, whirling dervish, boom. Flurry shot twice, consumable jump cancel. Flurry shot, whirling dervish, flurry shot twice. Oh my god, you're just melting the balls. How are you doing this? He's a hacker. Oh my god. And that is the whole rotation, bro. That's literally it. And since I'm on the single target, I want to, you know what? I'm going to keep this single target. I'm going to make an AoE tomorrow, okay? But for now, this is your single target. So I hope this helped people, you know? I hope this helped out a lot, you know? Because all I, all I want to do is make loadouts for people to where you can still have fun with your power, you know? Don't you hate getting talked about? Because I did. When I was a shitty DPS. <laughs> I didn't even know what a parse was. Oh, speaking of parses. Since we're on that, let me teach everybody. Every DPS should know this. How to parse correctly. Okay? So this is what you want to do. Go to your settings. Well, your options. Okay? Then go to settings. Scroll all the way over to the right and go to chat options. Okay, scroll down to your combat tab, press square or press edit, you know. Then this is where you can add any of the uh, other chats in this tab. So you can add the say, the shout, the tail, the system, the group, you know, league, trade, you know, all that stuff. What I want you to do is come down here until you see damage summary all right you want to press x on that or just click that until it's highlighted all right and then you want to press square or save it just save it press square boom it's saved now from here i want you to go all the way to the left and go to uh, gameplay up here it says combat parser interval all right you want to click that and set it to um <coughs> 10 seconds my bad so boom it's set to 10 seconds now. Every time you do damage, it's going to show you how much damage you do every 10 seconds. Okay? So when your 10 seconds are up, it's going to show you how much uh, damage you did in those 10 seconds. Now, what I like to do, I like to keep DPS in for like, let's say 50 seconds. Okay? So that means 10, 10, uh, 5 parses have to come up. 5 parses have to come up. Okay? So. Boom. We're gonna DPS for 50 seconds. I'm just I'm trash. <laughs> I'm just showing you how to how to look at your combat parse numbers and stuff. Oh we still hit an 80. Alright, that's 20 seconds. That's two parses. Three parses, that's 30 seconds. It's 40 seconds. Okay, there we go. And that's 50 seconds. See that? One, two, three, four, five. That's 50 seconds in all. So that is how you look at your damage parser and see how much damage you put out every 10 seconds. And 
this is how you get, you know, imaginative, you know? This is what will help DPSs, you know, experiment with their loadouts, you know, find a different way, you know, try new shit, try different shit. Try putting in consumables in your loadout and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, get creative. But I hope this helped everybody out. And if you like the video, please subscribe. I will be making more weird ass videos like this. Thanks for watching and peace.